this time we're going to cover how to scrape a web page with Simple Scraper. We're going to create a recipe, save it, run it to the cloud, and then we're going to try out deep scraping, which is first scraping a set of URLs and then scraping all of those individual URLs. So I'm on the web page uh, stylex.ie right now. I'm just going to click on the Simple Scraper extension, then click on Scrape this website. It's going to bring up a banner at the top of the web page with an option to add a property. So you click on that option, add a property, and then we hover over the data that we want. As we can see, we have a blue border over the data that we want to select. So if I click one, accommodation, for example, I'll see that it highlights all of the similar elements. And if I look, it looks like it's after getting everything that I want. And I can see that there are 78 items selected. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it category. And I'll save that. And that's all the data that I need. So I'll then click on View Results. This is the result page. And as we can see, the categories that we selected are listed here. However, we don't have the link. And we also want to run this in the cloud so that we can run it quicker and also we can run it you know, automatically. So we don't need to actually be in the web page to trigger this recipe to run. So I'm going to click on this big green button to save the recipe. I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it Silex Categories. You can see the property that we created earlier, category is there. And we can leave everything else at default. So we can just click then Create Recipe. At the moment that the recipe is created. Now let's go find that recipe in the sidebar. Where is the recipe? Stylex categories. So now we're going to click run recipe, which will run it through the cloud. The so simple scraper in the background is spinning up a browser and it's going to that page and it's going to extract the data for us. Yeah. Five seconds. And as we can see, we again have the categories. We also have the category link this time. So Simple Scraper is after extracting all of the 78 um, rows, all of the 78 category links. Let's visit one of these pages. This is on the page that behind the link that Simple Scraper has extracted. And let's say we also want to get these. We want to get the name of these accommodations. And we want to do that for every single category link that we have. So we're going to get all the name of accommodations, all the name of accountants, architects, and so on. In order to do that, we can create a second recipe. So we create a second recipe for one of the links that it extracted, like accommodation. And I've done this earlier. So I've already created a second recipe and I've called it listings. So you create your second recipe and you choose the data that you want to extract. In this case, we're gonna go for the name, the phone number, and the address. See? Name. phone number. So in order to do that, let's do that again. What we need to do is first go to the crawler. And what we want to do is import the recipes, the URLs from the first recipe. So we go to import URLs. And we find our first recipe name, which is Silex Categories. Categories. We click on the property that has the links, and there's only one property, category. And we click confirm. We click confirm, it's going to import these URLs. As you can see, there are now 78 URLs imported. And all we need to do is click run recipe, and it will scrape all of those 78 URLs and scrape the address, phone number, and name and link for all of the all of the, the businesses under all of the categories. So I'm just going to jump to one that we did earlier. And as you can see, in total, across those 78, 79 URLs, there are 1,067 businesses. And we have the name, the link, and where there is an address and a phone number, we also have that column as well. That's how you do it. Create one recipe. If you only want that data, you can download it. If you want to scrape the URL, that are returned by the first recipe, you create a second recipe, and then you import 
the URLs of the first recipe into the second recipe via the crawler, and then you run the second recipe. That's the basics of scraping and deep scraping with Simple Scraper.